We didn't shoot the ball well in the first half, and we turned the ball over way too much in the entire game. Um, and and so I, I, th I think we got off to a good start. I thought we were um, playing well out of the start. And then we just kind of took our foot off the gas. I didn't really like that a whole lot. So um, we, we, we need to play more consistent through that. Um, uh, I really like the way certain combinations played in the second half. Holding them to three points in the fourth quarter was good. Um, started shooting the ball better. But we, we've got to make sure we get past having an identity that when we're not shooting the ball well, we, we other, other areas of the game suffer. So I think that was the biggest issue for us. Um, probably the, the, the middle 20 minutes of the game. Um, but other than that, I thought we had some nice performances. Great to see. And Andy's been playing really well lately in practice, um, getting really good results. And, um, and then she went in the game, got good results, and stayed in the game. How about that? It's yeah. funny, funny how that works. It's great to see all three of our freshmen get some playing time, <clears throat> especially, you know, to see Corinne uh, come out and kind of, you know, it, it, it just it takes a, a minute when you're a freshman to kind of get your, your feet under you and that type of thing. And nice to see her start making some plays um, and uh, show a little bit of what she, just a, just a little bit of what she's capable of. We all know she's, she's got a lot, a lot, uh, lot to give there. But uh, pretty good balance. Everybody got to play a little bit. Um, was, was impressed with Mercyhurst. They played hard. Uh, I think they're going to be a good team. I think they got picked a little bit low in that league. I think they're going to they're gonna be good. Um, played with intention, well coached. Um, had a couple of Division I transfers that played well for them. And you know, it's a, that's a solid team. I, and, and they played, I hate to say it, I thought they played harder than us. Um, for a majority of the game. So we'll, we'll get that fixed, and we'll, we'll be better as we move forward. But, um, nice to be in front of the, the MAC fans again and, and getting this thing going. Questions for Annie and Corinne? Annie, let's see. Two years one, two years two, you didn't miss a shot. Second, we seen the rebound. That's um, bad coaching. I should have gotten the ball to her more. <laughs> um, your, best, your, best, your best game, do you think? Um, yeah, I think I just numbers wise, obviously, I was kind of doing like what was I was taking what was given to me and really made simple shots. And a lot of that is credit to my teammates finding me when I'm open and just making the simple play. Um, <coughs> there's more on your shoulders this year. I mean, you, um, as a front line backup, it's hard to tell what position you play sometimes because mm -hmm. you, you play about everything. But uh, what what's important to you going into the season? Really just being a good leader as a fifth year senior, having a lot of experience and backing up my teammates, whether it's being a secondary leader and just trying to lead by example every day and showing what it takes to get wins and get championships and being good examples for a lot of the underclassmen. What, um, um, what do you want to Um, I don't think so. I think my work, work ethic has been the same, and I've just been really trying to be consistent and getting better every single day and not dwelling on the past at all and just being ready for when my number is called. And that's the beauty of our team is we have a lot of depth, and when some players' shots aren't falling or aren't playing as well as they possibly can, um, that's what's great about having a lot of depth on the bench is that we have a lot of players ready to go and step up when we need to. When I ask Annie and I, when I ask Hannah and Lindsay yesterday, what player might surprise us? Both of them said you. Why would they say that? Um, I you think just both the fifth-year buddies yeah. because they've been here. Forever. Yeah, we know each other the best, <laughs> and like Coach said, I think I've had some personally good practices as of late, and it's shown up. But really, everyone's been working really hard and pushing each other, and and that's why we've all developed into such great players because we push each other every day in practice to get better. What did you work on between last season and this season? To um, kind of developing more into the post forward position and getting more finishes around the rim and kind of learning that position a little bit more. I'm, I was usually like a stretch forward. I would still say I am that, but just finishing around the rim and a lot of that is credit to Coach McKee working with us. And you guys took over the game about five minutes to go in the, set, in the third quarter and they got within four and then you ran off nine in a row. What happened from where you saw it? I think we all just decided that 
we were going to try and play our basketball and a lot of the like our run there stemmed from the defensive stops we had and we were just we were playing our our basketball and getting stops and not doing anything too complicated and really pushing the issue in transition and it worked out for us what happens when uh, i guess sort of the key to this season is can this team win when the threes aren't dropping yeah and, and tonight was a really good uh test for us like coach said at halftime we were one for 13 i think at half so and that's what's going to happen it's streaky shooting and we just got to find ways to uh, get to the basket and get simpler scores and just keep shooting in with rhythm shots like coach said going in keep taking those good kick out threes but finding different ways to score is definitely important um, so what did you think at first collegiate games what do you think of your performance um i thought i did pretty good there's a lot of things i still have to work on um coming into the season uh, during the summer, defense was a big focus of mine. And tonight, I had some lapses, for sure. But that was one thing that I, I really wanted to focus on. I think I came in with a lot of nerves. But once we started playing, <laughs> I settled down a lot. Um, so just, I, it was a, not too bad. Some turnovers, some messes up on defense. But overall, pretty good. it's pretty comfortable. Pretty good. Now, what do you think you did well? Uh, they played my game well. Um, Coaches, what they expect from me is to be aggressive, get other people involved, uh, get myself involved. So whether it was finding my shot or finding my teammates' shots, um, I think that's what I did pretty well. Yeah. And then what are you going to take from this game that you want to improve on for tonight? I think defensively and just being in control, um, settling down a little bit. Uh, Florida State's going to be a tougher team. They're going to be taller and more athletic. Uh, they're going to be more physical. So being defensively sound, uh, being smart, and just trying to match their aggressiveness is going to be something to focus on. Yeah. And how did you kind of get in the game? I guess you said you were a little bit nervous. I can't imagine. <laughs> okay. How did you get in the game with that? So I didn't think I was nervous coming in, but once I like subbed in for the first time, I was like, man, like it's it's actually here. Um, but once once I got the ball in my hand the first time, just took one dribble or the first time I guarded the one girl, I felt everything around me just got quiet. It was just on the floor. And what is, like, how do you think college ball differs, differs from high school? I think the speed and um, everybody could play now. In high school, there is people you could sag off of or people you didn't have to really worry about. Uh, college now, everybody could play. So you have to always worry about the whole team, not just, you always have to be, make sure you're guarding your person or you're taking care of the ball because every possession matters. Yeah, and how has that adjustment been? It's, it's been pretty good. Uh, there's times where it's like you go two steps back, but you always go forward next time. You tell me what you saw from the middle of third quarter on when things started clicking for the team. Uh, we just started clicking. <laughs> um, we were playing Kent women's basketball at that point. We were hitting our shots. We were finding an open person. Uh, we were playing. I thought we played great defense. We were doing what we were supposed to do. Uh, we didn't give up. If we gave up shots, they were tough, uh, contested shots. We were going out in transition quick. Uh, I think we are just playing how we want to play. Anything else for the student athletes? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. Thank you very much. She's been interviewed a lot in high school. Well, that's true. Yeah. She told me that. She's like, I got this. It's good. I've, yeah. She and, and I, I actually saw um, more than one interview that she had in high school, and she was very poised then, too. She's, she's, she's a poised young lady, for sure. So, talk about Annie and Abby and Corinne. Abby, Abby played really kept, kept it going in the third quarter. For a while. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, you know, one of the things that we missed last year, I mean, you know, is, is Abby can be a, really sp a real spark plug for us. You know, um, and that's something I wish we would have had last year at times in conference play. Somebody like Abby to put in the game and really kind of get get some get some energy going. She's a she's definitely an energy player. Kind of plays with her hair on fire a little bit sometimes, and uh, but but that's what she brings to the table. So um, it's good to see her back. It was a tough year. Uh, last two years have been tough for her. You know, with the transfer and then being hurt. Um, really happy to see Abby out there and having fun and, and playing again. Um, Annie just comes down to the fact, I mean, she was right on, she hit the nail on the head. She's been working hard every day since she's been here. I mean, that's, 
Um, Annie's, Annie's one of those players that just has been such a steady uh, force for us for, for four years, going on five now. Does everything we ask her to do. Straight A student, um, great teammate, has developed a great voice. And just recently, the last two, three plus weeks, has really started just getting better results. And that's what it really comes down to. You say that to players all the time, like you get, you get the results, you're going to play. Well, she's been getting consistent results. I hope this is another, like just a confidence boost for her. And she deserved the minutes she played today, and she did something with it. So it was, it's, it's great to see, once again, to see Abby and um, Annie um, have success, see her teammates get excited for her. Um, and then Corinne, you know, like she's a, she's a really talented player. She's battled some injuries in the, in the, uh, in the summer and the fall. Um, she's missed a significant amount of practice. Um, I'm, I'm happy she's back on the floor. I'm happy that she's healthy enough. Um, cause when she gets going and she like, I'm glad she got the jitters out today. Cause when she gets going, she's a very talented player can do some really good things for us. So and we had some other players that didn't play their best today, but they'll be fine. We have some real, we have, uh, you know, it is, it is what it is. So, but, uh, but those three really proud of those three. Depends on the lineup. I mean, we're playing. Mercyhurst played four guards most of the game. You know, smaller lineup and that type of thing. So we played. We were a little bit more guard heavy today, based on their lineup and their size. Um, it's a nice luxury to have both of those players, right? Um, so you'll you'll see you'll see both of them together at times, depending on who we're playing and, and based on whether we feel like we have advantage with that. Um, and a lot of times you'll see four guards out there because we have a lot of guard depth. No, I mean, I, I'm trying to be pragmatic about it and just kind of really focus on what the details look like. I mean, it's it, at the end of the day, it's more a matter of how we play, regardless of whether we're making shots or not, that matter to me. Um, I didn't, I didn't like our response to missing shots in the first half, and I didn't like our careless turnovers throughout the game. So, those are the two biggest areas we have to clear, clear up. Whether we're making shots or not should be irrelevant to how how focused and how hard we play. So. We'll, we'll focus on some of those things, get some of those things fixed moving forward, for sure. Um, just like talking a little bit more on Corinne, um, what do you think she did well? You know, I could tell she was a little nervous at the beginning. I mean, the, the pace and tempo of the college game is, is a little different. Uh, all three of our freshmen played nervous today, and that's to be expected. Um, all three are going to play this year. All three are very talented. Um, so the games like this are good to get the bugs out a little bit, and it's it's a it's a process, you know. But but for for Corinne, it was good to see her kind of get past that, kind of settle in, and then we we started getting some good rotations with players. I liked the lineups that we had in the second half, and she was able to kind of settle in and start making plays. And um, she really she's she really has the effect the the ability to be effective playmaker for us. I mean, she's got great vision. Um, you know, she had three turnovers, but the four assists that she had were, were really good. So we'll, we'll, that'll keep keep coming. She only played 20 minutes. I mean, Nobody played more than 20 minutes. yeah, we had uh, Casey played 22 and Hannah played 22. Other than that, everybody was 20 minutes or under. Everybody got to play some. So obviously our lineup is going to be tighter moving forward and that type of thing. But, but you know, Corinne's, Corinne's got the ability to do some really nice things for us. Yeah, and did you expect, um, you know, 11 points in the first game? Did you expect that? I expected more. I do. I mean, I, that's a kid who can. That's a kid who's got the ability to score twenty points a game for us. You know, if she gets a little bit more selfish. Now we've got other. We, we need it. That's a. She's a perfect example of somebody who probably is not selfish enough to look for her own shot. Um, so, I mean, she averaged twenty five, twenty six a game in high school. So she she can score when she when she's looking for that. But she's also great at distributing the ball. So. And did anything? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I was surprised that we didn't play as focused as we needed to probably about after five minutes into the game through about five minutes into the third quarter. I wasn't really pleased with our focus energy. 
Um, and I think it had a lot to do with, in our carelessness with the ball, ball, a lot of ball handling errors, um, um, a lot of self-inflicted things, you know, that we've got to get fixed. Um, but once again, it could be first first game in front of fans, jitters, and that type of thing. So I don't want to make an excuse. Maybe we'll chalk it up to that, but I won't bring that excuse in here anymore for sure. Um, I guess my last question is, you know, what do you have to do or do better um, to beat Florida State? Well, we're going to have to do a lot of things better to beat Florida State. Um, but we're capable of it. We're, we're capable of doing I mean, I'm not saying we're capable of beating Florida State. We'll see what we do. You're going to have to make shots. Against teams like that, you have to make shots. If you're not making shots, then – their 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 size, athleticism, ability um, is gonna is gonna negate a lot of things. They're gonna be able to take you out of your stuff. So we have to make shots, but we can't be once again our value as a as a team can't be whether we're making threes or not.